Hello, welcome to the Waker Machine Learning Tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll cover a question. How can we select the most effective features from the set of features we have, or this is called feature vector. So in order to do that, we have some feature selection methods. And among very uh, popular methods, uh, the most basic methods are of two kinds. The first one is called wrapper method and filter method. So these are two methods to select the most effective features from the set of features you have for your data set. So in this tutorial, we're going to cover the wrapper method. And in the next tutorial, we'll try to solve the problem with the, uh, with the filter method. So in wrapper method, we use a subset evaluator and that subset evaluator will create all possible subsets from your feature vector. Then it will use a classification algorithm like naive base or bagging or J48 graft to induce classifiers from the features in each subset. And it will consider the subset of features with which the classification algorithm performs the best. So for example, if you have 10 features, the evaluator, subset evaluator, will try to find out subsets, every possible subset from those 10 features. And for example, it produces three subsets. The first one contains three features, the second one contains five features, and the third one contains seven features. So with this first subset, if you select naive base as your classification algorithm, then with the, with the features in your first subset, it will apply the naive base classification algorithms on your test instances uh, or training instances and will try to figure out what the classification accuracy is. And on the basis of the classification accuracy of the three subsets it produced from your feature vector, it then presents the best one, the best subset. Uh, it presents you the best subset that produces the best classification accuracy with the naive base algorithm. And you can see that I have highlighted all possible subsets with red because to find a subset, to find a subset this evaluator will use a search technique. So the possible subsets that the evaluator produces from your feature vector solely depends on the search technique that it applies. So you can use either random search or any kind of breadth first search or depth first search or a hybrid approach that integrates both BFS and DFS. So today I'm going to show you how you can do the wrapper method in order to select features from your feature vector or pool of features using the Weka machine learning workbench. So we're going to click Explorer and for this tutorial I'm going to take uh, I'm going to consider the iris data set that's given in the Weka installation package. So this is our iris uh, data set. So now I'm going to select I'm going to click the select attributes tab here and you can see the first one first option here is the attribute evaluator and the second one is the search method. So this is our subset evaluator. Our subset evaluators are inside inside this option. And the methods to search the subsets, we have the options here. You can also choose if you're if you're trying to find the subsets of features uh, by using the full training set or by using a cross-validation. And you can also define the number of folds and seed for the cross-validation here. So now if you take a look at the data in the preprocess tab, you can see that we have a class attribute here. That's a nominal, nominal attribute here. The type is nominal. So we are trying to classify the instances on the basis of this number five feature in our data set. So in select attributes, you can see that you can select, uh, you can select the class attribute by which you are trying to separate it. The, instances from each other. So 
in order to use the wrapper method, you, we can choose the attribute evaluator. You can see that we have lots of evaluators. And with, with these evaluators, you can either use wrapper method or you can use uh, the filter method. So for this tutorial, as I said before, this is only focused for uh, wrapper method. So we are going to choose the third one that's called classifier subset eval. So I selected that. And if you click on this panel, then you can see that we have a more option and it says that the classifier subset evaluator evaluates attribute subsets on training data for a separate holdup testing set. And it uses a classifier to estimate the merit of a set of attributes. So to estimate the merit, it uses normally it uses the predictive accuracy or sometimes it also can use the precision recall and f-score on the classification task. So here you can define the classifier you are trying to use on the features of su subset of features that um, the attribute evaluator is producing. So for this example, we are trying to stick with naive base. We select that. And our holdout file is click to set holdout test instances. We are just keeping it as default. So these are the two options. The other one is use training. And yes, we are saying that, okay, use the training data to uh, get the best subset from the subset produced uh, by attribute evaluator. So we are clicking OK. And in search method, so you can see that we have uh, the defaults is selected as best first. Best first is a hybrid approach of both BFS and DFS. And you can see that we have some exhaustive searches, genetic search, greedy stepwise, linear force selection, ranker, and so on. So you have numbers of options to select uh, as a search method. So that depends on your classification task or that also depends if you have time and memory, then you can use uh, BFS approach, BFS search technique. And if you want to utilize your time and effort, then you can use a DFS search technique. So it all depends on you and your task. So now I'm just clicking on start and you can see that the selected attributes are one, three and four. So if you go to the pre-process tab, you can see that the two, that the sepal width, according, according to naive base, it says that with these three features, we can, we can classify the instances in the data set, iris data set, best uh, with the naive base classification algorithm. Also, you can, if you can, uh, if you can also uh, set the classifier as a different one for example instead of naive base we're trying to find it with a bagging uh, classification algorithm and again if you click on start then you can see that bagging is saying that the most effective features are number three and four so naive base is giving you one three four and bagging is giving you three and four this means that the performance on classification performance of naive base on this particular data set called iris is best when you are selecting one three four and you are omitting the second uh, feature in in your feature set or feature pool or feature vector whatever you say so we can do it right now so according to this information we use naive base and we have seen that the best features are one three and four so we can select one, three, four, and five. We just invert that. So we are just omitting number two from our feature set. And we can go to the classify tab. We can choose the classifier to naive base and we get the results here. So you can see the 100% precision, 100% recall for one class. The second class says 92.92% .92 precision, 96% recall, and the third class is saying 95% precision and 92% recall. So this is guaranteed that with those three features from our four features, excluding the class feature, gives you the best result. If you, if you uh, just select, if you undo that, 
and select any other for example if you want to try with two three and four and you're just uh, omitting number one feature then you exclude that go to classify tab and start again so you can see that we are currently this one was done by the selected features the most effective features and this was done by randomly selecting a feature to be omitted from your feature feature vector so you can see that the precision recall and f score has dropped so this one says that okay i'm guaranteeing you that with that with those three features by applying naive base you'll get the best accuracy result so i think that's it for today and by by this uh, you can always use the select attributes tab in wake explorer to see to find out the best possible subset of features if you're using a uh, subset evaluator uh, and using a wrapper method for subset f uh, feature selection. Thank you.